sport. It's great to have promise to challenge the best, but it's quite another thing to be the king of the hill and to have to fight off the finest competitors in the world. That's the problem that faces Robin Cousins of Great Britain, the newly crowned Olympic figure skating champion, as he begins his short program in the World Championships in Dortmund, West Germany. As in the Olympics, his job is a difficult one, because at the end of the compulsory figures, he's down in fifth place. This is Jim McKay with Dick Button. This two-minute program must contain seven required elements. A mistake in any of them will completely doom any chance he has towards winning this world title. The first, a two-jump combination of which one must be a double loop. The second part of it is a triple jump, a triple toe loop. Most people do the triple jump first. He does it second. And that was absolutely beautiful. Light, clean, and first rate. This a camel combination. Six revolutions on each foot, one position changing to the other. And look at the style and the elegance and the line. Move number three, a double axle. It should have height, distance. It did. Combination spin, one change of foot, two changes of position. A straight line step now from one end of the ring to the other. Cousin, cousins battling here for the title with Jan Hoffman of East Germany and with three Americans. David Santee, Charlie Tickner, Scott Hamilton. Oh, oh, oh that a disaster. Was, but you see, that's the stupidity of that fall, was that it was a simple trick. It'll mark him off, but he needed every single tenth of a point he could have in this performance, and it is, it has been beautiful until this moment. Just beautiful. The Olympic champion in trouble. That could open the door for one of the young Americans, now, or for Jan Hoffman. I, I will say that that should not take off a great deal. This is his last movement right there. Very well, very handsomely done. That fall should not take off a great deal because it didn't disrupt the flow. It didn't ch challenge him artistically. And because it's written in the rules that a fall does not, is not have any marks taken off unless it is... The, the skater's doing something clearly beyond his ability and incomplete, incompleting the move. He won it at Lake Placid, but now he's got to prove himself all over again in these world championships. We'll find out if he can pull it out today as we bring you the men's and pairs competition at the World Championships in West Germany on ABC's Wide World of Sports.